Okay, guys. Good, uh, good evening to all of you. So I think today is the last day for this uh, SQL essential session. Okay. So I think uh, till now we have actually discussed uh, like a lot of things. Okay. So we have discussed about uh, like what are all the queries uh, uh, which we can write into the SQL. Okay. To solve uh, like a different problems. Okay. And I have and I have taken like a different data sets uh, like uh, in different times so that I can actually show you the real time examples. Okay, so yesterday, uh, like uh, okay, guys. So uh, please, uh, today is the last day. So whatever your queries regarding the SQL, okay, and not only regarding the SQL, not only regarding uh, like whatever we are learning. If you have any other doubt, if you have, if you want to ask something. Uh, uh like uh, uh like later on that from where you can study and from where you can uh, actually learn so yeah guys definitely uh you guys can uh, uh can ask me and i will try to guide you in a proper way okay so uh now guys uh, let me just open my uh editor and let me show you uh like uh from a constraints okay so I think yesterday we are discussing about the constraints and I have told you that constraints are nothing but and guys, please uh, tell me like before starting uh, right before start writing, uh, please tell me like, uh, uh, like uh, today because uh, like uh, you have told me that uh, uh, like uh, something about the font size. So uh, is it clear? I think uh, today uh, uh, there is no issue with the font size and uh, like a screen. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys. So today, uh, like after ending the session, don't worry about the material. I am telling you this thing again and again. Don't worry about the materials. It will be uploaded. Uh, it will it will share with you. Uh, like after the session. Okay. And please, uh, uh, uh like today is the last day. So try to uh, like uh, just be present into the session so that uh, you guys uh, like uh, your attendance will be marked okay so uh, it it will be necessary for you to get the certificates okay so for certification and even for uh, like uh, all the materials be uh, be uh, be present into the session and mark your attendance okay guys so now let's uh, start it okay so let's assume guys, uh, I think yesterday I have told you that the constants are nothing but it's a rule. Okay. So uh, we can try to define some rules, some set of rules, and then we can try to follow that particular rule. Okay. So uh, like, let's say that if I, if I don't want uh, any particular value, if, if I don't want this, uh, uh, I, if, if I don't want that, uh, uh, like uh, if, if I don't want any null value inside this column. Okay. So what I can do, I can simply use not null. Okay, so not null means there uh, there should not be any null values. Okay, similarly, if I want a unique value, okay, so I can use a unique uh, over here. Okay, so this is how, guys, you can always uh, uh, actually uh, define your constraint. Okay, so uh, now if if you have written not null plus unique, it means the value there should be some value. There should not be a null value. And the second important thing is it should be a unique value. It means the employee ID should not be repeated. Okay. Now, if I want to create a primary key and foreign key, so again, it's very easy. So primary key is nothing but it's a combination of not null and unique. Okay. And foreign key is nothing but it's a it's 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 a child of a primary key. Okay. So uh, like uh, we just have two tables. Now this detailed table is nothing but it's a child table of this parent table. Okay. So this is my parent table. This uh, Info is my parent table, and now this tape detail is my child table. Okay, and now you can see that this is how we can create a foreign key. Okay, so let's say if I try to execute this, uh, uh, like a particular code or particular query over here. Okay, so it will give me error that uh, table project dot info. Okay, so fine, I think uh, I'm using different database, so let me use this database now. And let me just create this table. Okay, I think this table is already present. Let me uh, put this value inside a table. Okay, now I'm not getting an error. Okay, guys. And I can try to even run this table as well. Okay, the detail table, it will run. Okay, this is already exists. It, it, it means that I have already run this. Now, guys, let's say that if I try to copy this, if I try to, uh, write something inside a foreign key or inside this child table okay so you can observe that these are department name 
so i can try to write the department name over here okay so now guys uh now this is this relation okay so we already established a relation over here you can see that uh, this is reference of the primary key itself okay so we have already established a relation between an info table and a detail table okay it means the employee id should not be changed okay so employee id is 20 means i am talking about sami okay i am talking about a sami and now uh, it, it's not if, if the employee ID is 20, it means uh, we are talking about Samir who is actually from Jaipur and the age of Samir is 43. So that's fine. Now I need to write down the department name of Samir. So what is his department? So let's say I can write HR department. Okay. And then maybe I can write his salary. So let's say I can write the salary as 45,000. So it will run guys. So if I try to run this, so it will run. Uh, I don't think that there will be any problem. It will run properly. I'm able to uh, uh, input this. Okay. So here, yeah, okay. I think uh, here I I need to change the name of the column. Okay. So here my column name is department, and next column name is salary. So here I need to write the salary. Now let's run it again. Execute it. Okay, so department is work here. Okay, this is fine. Okay, I think uh, we need to arrange it in a proper way. So department salary, and then we have an employee ID. Okay. So I think this is TPPT department itself. Let's run it. Okay, and this should be uh, okay. Change the name of a table, guys. I think this is a mistake. Uh, I'm inserting this value into the detail table, not into the info table. Okay, HR for column salary. Oh, okay, fine. This is salary. Okay, guys. So this is salary, and then we have an H. Uh, then we have uh, ID going here. Fine. It's now it will work. Okay, lot of mistake, but now it is working. Okay, guys. Now let's say that if I try to put some other employee ID. Okay, so so now guys, we uh, uh, now we can understand that uh, for Sami. Okay, so uh, the employee ID of Sami is twenty. He's living in Jaipur and his age is forty three. Okay, he's 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 from a HR department and his salary is forty five thousand. Okay. Let's say if I want to uh, actually uh, print the same thing for survey, so I can print it. I can take this ID over here as 10. But let's say if I want to take some other ID value, let's say if I want to take 30 over here. So now if I execute this, so I will get an error. Okay, you can see cannot add or update the child row. Okay, because now once I have I have used the this keyword over here. Okay, so once I have used this uh, keyword references. So now I'm I'm actually referencing towards the primary key. Okay, so uh, now this 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 whole table is become a parent table, and this table becomes a child table, guys. Okay, so definitely you cannot update child table directly. Okay, you need to take a, uh, you need to first uh, add this value inside a parent table. Then only you can uh, actually add this value inside a child table. Okay. So now, uh, so with this, uh, with this references keyword, guys, we are actually able to uh, uh, build a relation between two different tables. Okay, so this is what we can achieve with the primary key and a foreign key. Okay, so I hope this is uh, this primary key and foreign key is clear to everyone. Okay, guys. Fine. Now the next thing is uh, about uh, the join. Okay, so now guys, in in a SQL, there are four different types of a join. Okay, so let me show you first. So there are different types of a join. Okay, so there's an inner join, then there's a left join, then there's a right join. Okay, so let me tell you that what is the meaning of all these joins. So inner join means, uh, let's say you have two tables. Okay, so let's say I have two tables over here. So if any column okay so definitely uh, if i want to join two tables so at least one column in both the table should be common okay so one column in both the table should be common okay so if uh, if if i have a common value inside a both inside both the table 
then uh, uh that then that then all those values will be executed into the inner join inner join means suppose here i have a customer id as 23 okay now if i talk about the another table so if i talk about this product over so wherever the customer id is 23 so that will be executed that will execute okay so it means guys that into if i want to join two table so i just uh so there there should be one common column okay and if I have a common values in both the table, so that uh, those values will be executed if it is inner join. Okay, if it is inner join. So inner join is kind of an intersection in a in a set, guys. Okay, so I hope that if you if you learn about the set theory in our in into the childhood, uh, in our in in the six or seven class, so you know know about the intersection. Okay, so if I have like the common values in both the table, so that value will be executed. That value will be print out. Okay. So let me first run this. Okay, so I hope uh, I think this this table is already present. Okay, so customer table is present and even the product table is present. So I don't need to actually run this. Okay, because these tables are already present over here. Let me just do one thing. Okay, let's let me just try to join it. Okay, inner join. And now let's observe, guys, that here I have uh, like a customer ID is twenty three. Name of customer is Achal, and then Renupur. Then the customer ID is 76, name of customer is John and Bangalore. Okay. So just try to find out the common customer ID in both the tables. Okay. So you can see uh, here I have a uh, like a uh, customer ID is 23. Here I have a customer ID is 76. And then here also I have a customer ID is 23. So just I think only three values will be printed. Okay. So if I try to run this, okay. And let's uh, try to understand this query also. So here you can actually write that whatever the whatever what are all the things you want to execute. Okay, so I want to execute the customer ID. I want to see the customer name. I want to see the product name that what product he buys, and then I want to see the product price. Okay, let's say if I if if you want to check even the uh, customer location, so you can write the location also. Okay, you can write customer dot location also. So I just want to execute these four things into my table. And uh, from where I want to ex uh, I want to print this. So from customers, okay. And then inner join products, okay. So I want to join customer and products on what basis? On on the basis of customer ID because uh, customer ID is a common column in both the table. Now, guys, if I want to, if I try to execute it, okay. So you can see I'm getting just three values over here. Okay, so let me drag it up. Okay, you can see this three values over here. Okay. Because if you, you can observe very clearly that in like if I talk about uh, like in, if I talk about these these tables, so only three values are common. Okay, only three, uh, okay we we just have uh, like twenty three and seventy three. So these two, two values are common, although twenty three is actually present for two times. So that's why we are getting uh, twenty three two times, and there are just uh, like in total there are three values. Okay, so inner join means guys we are actually get a uh, we will actually get the common values. Okay, just the common values. Okay, so the values which are common in both the table, we will get those values. Okay, now if I talk about left join, so it is not very much difficult, and and even the right join is also very much similar. Okay, so I can copy this the same query two times, and I can write left join over here. Now, guys, what will happen into the left join? So the table from the left hand side will will execute committee. Okay, means uh, uh, if I talk about uh, left join, so means this table, uh, so this whole table will be executed, okay. And the value, whatever the values are common, okay, whatever the values are common, uh, like in uh, like with this table, so that only uh, with uh, that value will uh, will only be executed from uh, like the second table, okay. So it means the uh, 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 like uh, the left table will be executed completely okay means uh, the all the values of the left table will be executed okay so if i execute this let me show you you can observe that you can let this let me try to increase it you can observe that so all these three values are actually present in uh, so this is uh, this is actually the left table okay so this is actually the left table you can actually see that this is my left table okay so we are getting the customer id we are getting the customer name so 23 and uh, the name of a customer is nothing but let me check achal 
and then uh, product name so whatever the product Rachel has buy so that is pen okay so that you can observe over here pen pen for 23 it is pen and the price similarly again 23 because 23 is present for two times then we have a john then we have a sukhbir and then we have a royal now guys 81 and 79 is not present into the second table means into the right table okay so you can see 81 and uh, 79 is not present over here okay so that's why i am getting null uh, for product name and price okay i am getting null for that because 81 and 79 is not present you can see 81 and 79 is not present 23 and 76 are present okay so you can see 23 and 76 are present so that's why i'm getting uh, all the values for 26 23 and 76 for uh, for, for 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 the last two values for 81 and 79 i'm getting null over here okay and the same thing guys with the right table so in right table what will happen uh, this whole values will be executed okay and if if there's a if there is a common value inside of left table it will execute otherwise it, it otherwise there will be a null okay so let me show you so now again you can see that uh, okay so i think uh, uh, like it it simply executed the last value so here guys uh, just you you can actually add one more thing because i have actually add, i have, i'm actually trying to execute only customer id customer name product name and price okay so if i try to execute the location also then it will show Achha, okay fine here it is like in a drawing yes let me make it right here okay guys now execute it again yeah you will get some no, yeah so now guys you can observe that wherever there's a common id wherever there's a common customer id it is fine okay we are getting all the values for that particular customer but now for this customer id okay so let me show you for 83 okay for 83 so 83 is not present to the left table it is only present to the right table okay so you can see that we are not getting the customer name over here and the same thing is for uh, like the 49 okay so 49 is present only the right table it is not present to the left table so that's why i'm getting null over here. okay so this is what happened guys into the left join and the right join and the inner join. okay so inner join will execute only the common values left join will execute all the values inside the left table and uh, if there if there is some common value with the right table it will execute otherwise there will be a null value and right table will execute all the values from the right table and if there is any common value with the left table it will execute otherwise it will be null okay so very common uh like a uh, scenario guys okay so you will get guys you will get all these uh materials okay so just try to uh, uh just try to uh, do it by yourself okay uh because with the example it will be much uh so if, if you try to execute this query uh, uh like by your own so you are able to understand it it in much better way okay so uh you'll get all these queries just try to run this and just try to uh just try to put another example and then try to uh, uh like uh, uh then try to uh practice it okay it will give you uh like uh more better us uh, uh like a result okay so that's it guys from a join uh function okay Okay, guys. So, uh, for certificate, guys, uh, you just have to uh, uh, you just uh, need to have your uh, like attendance. Okay, so if the attendance is maybe more than fifty or sixty percent, you'll get the certificate on your uh, register made ID. Okay, so on your register made ID, you will receive the certificate in maybe three or four days. Okay. Now let me take this, uh, the next function guys. Okay. So let me talk about the next function, which is, uh, actually a uh, window function guys. So let's, let me show you that what's a window function. Okay. So for that, I need to actually use this table, uh, employee table. Okay. So, and you can observe that inside an employee table, I have actually put, uh, like, uh, uh, like a different values, like uh, employee ID, employee name. Uh, department name and salary okay so i have taken different values over here now guys let's say that uh, uh, I, if i uh, okay so let's say that uh, let, let me show you that what's a window function and how it looks like okay so guys uh, 
first let me execute a very simple query let's uh, try to check that uh, how this table looks like okay so select start from employee let's see that how this table looks like so this is the table guys okay you can see that we have an employee id employee name department name and salary okay. so i hope this is clear to everyone now the next thing guys okay now let's see that uh, let me show you that what's uh, uh, what we can achieve with a group by function okay so let's say that i want to see the maximum salary okay i want to check the maximum salary okay what is the maximum salary so you can see that for different employees there's a different salary okay so for uh, like someone's salary is 7000 someone 8000 4000 4500 okay if i want to get the maximum salary so i guess i can write a max salary okay so max of salary i want to know okay and i want to know this max of salary from where from our uh, employee so it's very simple guys i guess uh, you all know about this query we have actually uh, executed this uh, yesterday also so you can observe that the maximum salary uh, for any employee is 11000 okay that's fine but i don't want to uh, let's say that i don't want to get the maximum salary i just don't want to get the maximum salary over here i want to see the maximum salary department wise okay so department wise i want to check this maximum salary okay so like uh, there are there are maybe different departments over here you can see there's a it department there's a hr department there's a finance department so i want to see that uh, like from every department what is the maximum salary okay so uh, what uh, what is the maximum salary in each department okay so what i can do i can actually write department name over here because uh, there's a column as department name okay so I can write department name and I want to get the max salary of uh, from the department name. And what I can do is I can actually give an alias name. So this is how guys we can actually give an alias name. So I want to give the alias name as max salary. Okay. So because I'm trying to find out the max salary, so I can give the alias name as max salary. And definitely, guys, if I want to find out uh, with respect to the uh, employee, okay, with sorry, with respect to uh, like the uh, uh, any particular column, so you know that we can use a group by function. Okay, yesterday we discussed about the group by function. That group by function act as a conjunction. Okay, uh, uh, so it it act as a conjunction for uh, for my aggregate function. Okay, so I want to group by this thing with respect to the department name. And that's it, guys. Now, if I try to execute this, let's see that what will be the result. So let me just uh, increase it. Okay. So let me show you. So yeah, the maximum salary from admin department is five thousand. Maximum salary from HR department is eight thousand. Maximum salary from IT department is eleven thousand. And maximum salary from finance department is six thousand five hundred. Okay, so this this is fine, guys. Uh, we are actually getting the admin. Uh, we are actually getting the department name, and we are actually getting the corresponding maximum salary from each department. That's fine. This is what we exactly uh, uh, we exactly want to see. Now the second important thing, guys, over here is okay. This is fine, but let's say that I just don't want. I I don't want to know only department name and maximum uh, like the maximum salary. Let's say that I, even I want to see the okay. So let's see that even I want to see the uh, the comp the the all the columns. Okay. So along with this, I want to see all the columns. Okay. So if I want to see all the columns, means I want to see that uh, who is having the maximum salary, okay, from which department, okay. So let's say I want to see the uh, employee name as well and employee ID as well, okay. So for that, what we can do, then we can actually try to create a window function, okay. We can actually utilize a window function. Well. So let's see that how to create a window function. So we can actually use uh, like for employee, we can try to because from employee, I want all the things. Okay, so this is actually uh, uh, this is how guys we can act, uh, actually uh, if I, if I want to see all the columns into the table, so I can actually use the asterisk mark in this way. Okay, so I can give some uh, alias name to this uh, table. So I'm giving the alias name as E. So employee as E. Okay, and I want to see the maximum salary. 
and then i can use this over okay so over guys over function over here is nothing but it's it actually it, it actually act as a window function okay as max cell okay guys and now you can okay one second let me just just and then we can write from employee okay so from employee now guys if i try to run this let's see that what result will get so you can observe that now guys we are getting all the values okay so that's what i want i want to see all the values so employee id employee name then department name and then salary uh, and then we are getting one more column as a maximum salary but guys this is actually uh, like a different because i want the maximum salary from each department okay but here i think this is the maximum salary from the entire table okay so i don't want this i want to apply this window so guys right now we are applying this window over all the table over complete table okay you can see that inside this table inside this over uh, bracket i have i didn't mention anything okay it means it tries to take entire table as a window okay so now if i want to create a different window for different department okay window function is what i want to create a different window for different department so there are four different departments so i want to create four different window so for creating that window guys i can use a function called partition by and i want to partition by with the department name and that's it guys now if i execute this we will observe now guys let me scroll up now you can see so now you can see that there are four different windows okay so the first window is admin and you can see that from admin department the maximum salary is 5000 okay so in admin department the maximum salary is 5000 then there's a finance department now in, in in finance department the maximum salary is 6500 then there's a hr department now in hr department the maximum salary is 8000 and then there's a it department in it department the maximum salary is 11000 okay guys so this is how it works okay so this is what we call a window function guys okay so we have actually created a different window for different uh what i can say for different department okay so this is how we can actually create a window guys okay i hope this is clear to everyone yeah guys here i think this is even very interesting and exciting uh like this window function Guys, you'll get all these details by the Let's Upgrade team about the assignment, uh, submission and all. Okay, don't worry about that. Just try to uh, focus over here for in, into the class and just try to understand these amazing queries. Okay. Now, guys, uh, if you even want to see the rank, okay, so like I want to see, uh, I want to see the top, uh, uh, like from each department, uh, who is getting, who is getting the maximum salary. Okay, so if I want to select the top person from each department, okay, so top person means uh, the, the person who is getting maximum salary, the employee who is getting maximum salary. So guys, you can actually use the same thing, uh, and but along with this, you can actually use uh, something, uh, so instead of max salary, I can use some another function over here that is called rank, okay, so I can use the rank over here, and that's it guys. So uh, what I can do, I can use a rank, and I want to apply this rank over each window okay and that's it guys now if i try to execute this okay so i think uh, this is fine and here i want to give it as rank r and p that's it i can give r and p so now guys if i execute this so you'll get the rank guys okay so for from every department okay so the first rank into the admin department is uh, okay this is uh, okay i think this is not arranged into the proper order because i think uh, we just forget to use the uh, like uh, because i want to rank it uh, on the basis of what okay so I, I didn't give in that okay so i want to rank it on the basis of salary okay so i need to short this thing okay so let me write it down order by order by what salary okay and in which order into the descending order Okay, now it's fine i guess now i can run this okay now you can observe guys okay so the maximum salary okay one second there yeah. 
so now you can see the maximum salary into the admin department is uh, like the name of uh, the person who is having maximum salary is monica okay she's having the maximum salary and she's rank one then mohan and mariam is having rank two because they are having the same salary four thousand and gotham has rank four because uh, he's having the minimum salary Similarly, we have a Darwin, uh, uh, like uh, his uh, uh, from the finance department, he's rank one. Satya is also at rank one because he's having the same salary. Then Tejashwi rank three and Raji is rank four. Okay. The same you can check for HR. Okay. So from each department, you can see that uh, who is actually at rank one, who is at rank two. And so now guys, even you can actually uh, utilize this particular query for uh, like a uh, into into the colleges also so into the colleges into different section if you want to see that uh, uh, who got rank one who got rank two who got rank three okay so this way we can actually check the rank of the students okay so that's it guys this is uh, this is how you can actually use the make a use of window function and you can actually get the rank for uh, like a different person okay Okay, guys. So I hope like this is clear to everyone. Yeah. Now, guys, the last thing uh, for the session. Okay, so let's try to uh, actually uh, see that uh, like uh, the project also, guys. Okay, because uh, without the project, we cannot uh, definitely uh, close the session. Okay. So now, guys, let me show you the project. Okay. So let me show you the question for uh, like a project. Okay. So guys, let's say that uh, we are going to uh, create a, like a project for a uh, music store data. Okay, so let's say we have a music store data and let me increase this font so that uh, it will be visible to all of you. So yeah, guys, we are actually looking for a, okay, so let me increase it. So we are actually want to create a, a like a project and we are actually want to do some analysis for music store data. Okay, so let's say that guys, we have a data for a music store okay and uh, i want to uh, and this is actually for complete beginner guys okay so now my job is to analyze this database okay so let's say that i want to know that uh, uh, like uh, from which country okay so let's say i have some music app okay so i think you all are using a music app let's say you spotify some of you are actually using spotify some of you using maybe Geo Savan, some of you may be using Wink Music app, okay? So everyone is having a different choice. Maybe some of you using, uh, using a Ghana, okay? So let's say uh, Spotify wants to know that from which country I have a maximum number of listeners, okay? I have a maximum number of subscribers, okay? So that is where, uh, like, uh, so uh, Spotify can actually uh, do all these analysis, okay? So suppose if, uh, uh, if if uh, if if he uh, like Spotify wants to know that uh, which customer is actually uh, uh, like uh, buying uh, like uh, uh, like uh, is having like more number of subscriptions okay and having all the subscriptions and all okay or maybe it wants to know that from which country we are having maximum number of subscribers okay so may, uh, maybe they they can try to do something uh, maybe they can try to do, give some offer to maybe their valuable customers okay. So these kind of a thing, guys, uh, uh, like uh, uh, your uh, uh, that that app, that application. Okay, so uh, uh, the person want to analyze. Okay, so definitely as a data analyst, this is your task to do all these analysis. Okay, so as a data analyst, you need to analyze maybe uh, that from which country we have a maximum number of subscription, who is our best customers. Okay, from which city we are having our best customers. Okay, so definitely all these applications want to analyze all these things okay so that uh, they can actually improve their business they can grow their application in uh, like a future time okay guys so let's see that uh, how to create uh, like uh, how to do all these analysis how to actually solve all these questions okay so i have taken just five questions over here guys definitely uh, there can be more questions uh, which a company can ask to you but okay let's try to solve this five questions first and let's try to understand the objective. Let's try to understand that uh, uh, how maybe data set looks like and how you are able to solve it. Okay. So let me show you the data set, guys. So I have 11 different database, 11 or 10, 10 different database. Okay. So I have a data for the employee. I have a data for the joiners, invoice. Okay. So we have a different data sets over here. Okay. And uh, 
now we want to utilize okay so here guys i have stored all the databases okay so guys if you want to upload all these databases so what you need to do is you simply uh, just right click on this table okay just right click on this table and when you right click on this table guys so there will be a option that table the table data import wizard okay so it there's an option for import okay so you can import a data from here so you you can import any csv or excel file from here so if i click on this import so it will ask me to browse okay so from where i want to import the uh, like any uh, table or any data okay so i can click on that particular data let's say if i want to import the playlist or if i want to import the track okay anything whatever i want to import i can click on that and i can simply import it okay guys so it's very simple you can definitely you, you just uh, make a right click over here and then you need to search for this import option okay and then you need to click on this import button and then you can import your data okay so it's very simple guys so in this way guys i have imported all these tables all this like uh, uh, sheets okay and you can see that in every sheet i have different information so into the album i have album id then title then album uh, artist id then into the customer i have uh, again different information okay so even if you want to check each uh, like a, a table so you can definitely check it okay now guys let's try to understand that uh, how how uh, what how we can actually try to solve the questions okay so uh, like what kind of approach we should take in order to solve the question because the guys up uh, your approach should be uh, like uh, clear okay if you if you are able to know that uh, uh, like how to how we should take an approach then it will always be easier for you to solve any query okay it will always be easier for you to solve any query or any question okay so my very first question over here is guys and you'll get all these projects guys okay you'll get the project you'll get the material don't worry about uh, like the project okay so yeah guys just try to focus over here uh, okay yeah i am just taking a very uh, simple example definitely you guys can make it by your own okay so the very first question guys over here is who is the senior most employee based on the job title okay now guys just try to see the question over here so he is asking for a senior most employee okay it means that it is uh, into this question we are asking for the employee okay we are actually looking for an employee so now guys if you go on to this table so you can see there is an employee table okay there is an employee table it means we need to uh, we need to check the employee table okay because my answer i i will get my answer from the employee table okay so now it, if i execute it okay so let me drag it down and uh, then i will show you now inside the employee table guys you can observe that we have employee id we have a last name we have a first name then title okay so on the basis of job, job title i want to know then a report then labels okay so guys here you can observe that there is a one column as labels okay so definitely the person uh, uh, like uh, if i want to see the uh, like a senior most okay so if i want to check the senior most employee it means uh, his level is on the top okay so he's on the top okay so if i want to see the senior most so he's he's definitely on the top okay so it's it's very easy guys so what i can do i can simply select the title because i want to uh, show the job title i want to uh, i want to check see his last name okay i want to see his first name and i want to uh, actually execute the employee okay from employee order by what order by labels okay so if his he if his labels is up then definitely uh, he is a senior most employee okay and then guys here uh, you can you can observe that i am using one uh, again one more function that is limit okay what is the meaning of limit over here limit means i want just one value okay so you can see that i have ordered this label in a descending order okay so i want the top uh, rated or top level employee okay and it is actually i got all the values into the descending order okay so but i just want one value right i don't want all the values i just want one value okay so what i will do i will simply copy this all and execute it okay so it will give me one single value so the title is general manager and the name of the employee is andrew adams okay so andrew adam is the senior most employee who is working in this music store okay so uh, maybe it's a spotify or anything so he is the employee who is working in this uh, store 
from the from from a like very beginning okay so from a very uh, long period of time because he's the senior most employee uh, for this company okay Yeah, yeah, guys. Okay, uh, don't worry. Uh, like uh, it will be shared with uh, you. Uh, like all these materials will be uh, like after the session, you will get all the materials on the portal itself. Okay, don't worry about the materials, assignment, uh, certificate, and all. Okay, I hope uh, this first question is clear to everyone. Fine, guys. Now the next question is which countries have most invoices? Again, it's a very simple question, guys. So every time when you get the question, just try to look at the database. Okay. So uh, like the, because the very first thing which you want, which you need to find out uh, that uh, like from uh, from which database I can answer this question. Okay. Which database I can utilize to answer this particular question? Okay. So very first thing, guys, you first need to look at the data set database okay so let's see that uh, whether anywhere we have like a uh, like a country data set or maybe any data set from where we can get a country name okay so uh, i think uh, the question asks us which countries have the most invoices okay so here you have a data as invoice okay you can see that we have a data we have a table as invoice it means we can actually check into the invoice table and maybe into the invoice table we may have the uh, country column as well. So let me just run this, execute this, and then I will get the invoice. Okay. So now you can see, guys, into the invoice table, we have an invoice ID, we have a customer ID, we have an invoice date, billing address, billing city, billing country, and billing state. Okay. So now, now I want to know the country from where I have a maximum invoices. So what I need to do, guys, I simply need to make a count. I simply need to uh count that from which country i have the maximum number of invoices so from which country the maximum number of invoices has been generated okay so what i will do i will simply use a count over here count function over here okay and then i want to execute the name of the country okay from where the maximum invoices is generated and i want to generate it i want to uh like uh execute it into the descending order so the country with the most billing invoices should be on the top followed by the second one third one and all okay so now if i run this let's see what will be the result okay so now you can observe guys so the maximum invoices generated from which country usa 131 okay then canada brazil followed by france and all. okay guys so this is how we can actually understand uh, get this answer okay guys so anytime guys okay whatever the question you will get just try to check that uh, whether the relevant database is present or not okay uh yeah guys you'll get the boot camp uh you'll, you'll get the uh like notes don't worry adam uh senapati don't worry about the notes uh, uh like uh, all these notes will be uploaded after after the session in your portal okay you'll get the notes from there yeah yeah uh the data set will be shared with you so we'll get the data set Okay, now guys, uh, let's just try, just try to, uh, just try to find this query by yourself. Okay, the third question, just try to solve it by yourself. Okay, let me show you one more uh, like answer so that it will be easier for you to understand. Now guys, suppose if I want to check that which city has the best customer. Okay, so now how I'm able to understand that which city ha having the best customer. So if I want to know that, uh, so the city, it, it means that uh, guys from that city, that uh, that city we are having the more number of invoices and more number of billings okay so definitely uh, uh, so uh, uh, who is the best customer for any uh, e-commerce website the customer who actually make uh, made more number of transactions okay so the customer who make actually more number of transactions that is the uh, that is the most valuable customer or the best customer you can say so similarly if i want to see that uh, uh, like which is the best city it means the city which is which is have having which actually done most number of transaction or most number of invoices has been generated from that particular city okay so let's see that how we can solve that particular question 
so again guys uh, we need to go on to this invoice itself because invoice a table contains a city column okay so what i need to do is i want to uh, get the billing city okay i want to name the i want to uh, get the name of that city which is having the max uh, which is having the uh, maximum in, uh, like uh, which, is, which is actually having the best customers okay then sum of all the total okay so i want to get the sum of all the total so let me show you the invoice table once again okay you can observe over here we have we are having billing address and we are having invoice date okay and then somewhere we are having actually the uh, total okay so this is a, a total invoice generated from each city and each country and each state it is given okay so i want to take the total of that okay so the city from where i am getting the maximum total that is definitely the best city okay and then again just order by uh, into the descending order now if i execute this you can observe so this is a city guys okay and i have actually made this limit as 2 so if i want to know the top 3 cities okay so i can make the limit as 3 it will tell me the top 3 cities okay so these are the top 3 cities uh, from where i am getting the best customers okay so the first one is Prague, then the second one is Mountain View, and the third one is London. Okay, so these are the top three cities, uh, which consist of the best customers. Okay, so from where I am getting the best customers for for my music store. Okay, for my music store, I am getting the best customer from these three, three cities. Okay, guys, is it clear? I guess to everyone. Yeah, definitely you can download a data set uh, uh, the data set will be uploaded on to uh, all the, the, the whole material not only the data set the project and all the things will be uploaded on the portal you can download it from there okay okay let me just la uh, lastly just do one more so uh, if i want to know the best customer so i think again in a similar way i can get the best customer okay so the customer who has spent more okay that that is definitely is is the best customer okay so jo customer sabse yada, uh, uh, invest kiya hoga, jo customer sabse yada, uh, like subscription liya hoga, that will be the best customer so if i want to know the name of that customer and the id of that customer so guys in into my invoice table now i don't have that uh, uh, like the data for the customer okay so what i can do i can actually see that where the customer data is given okay so the customer data is given into the customer table okay so the customer data is given into the customer table so what i need to do is i need to join these two tables okay i need to join customer table and invoice table so how i can join it so i want to know the name id of the customer i want to know the first name of the customer last name of the customer and i want to know the total uh, what is the total uh, like how how much total uh, money he has spent it. Okay, so that total I want from customer and now I'm joining it to the invoice. Okay, you can see I'm joining this table, this customer table to the invoice table. Okay, I'm joining this, both the tables. On what basis? On the basis of customer ID and on the basis of customer ID because customer ID is, uh, is the common call in both the table. Okay, group by customer ID. Okay, and I'm, I want to know the total spending in descending order. Okay, so I'm arranging the, uh, all the values into the descending model. Okay. So I will get my best customer. So the best customer name is Fanti, Eki, Wichler, and the total spending is 144.54. Now, suppose if I want to, if I want to know the top three customers, okay. So again, guys, uh, just make this limit as three. Or if I want to know top five customer, you can make the limit as five. Okay. So you'll get the customer ID, customer first name, last name, and the total spending, whatever they have done. Okay, guys. So yeah, just try to practice this thing, guys. Okay, uh, the practice is very, very important for you. Now, uh, that's that's all, guys. I hope uh, you guys have enjoyed this boot camp and definitely uh, this is only for a beginner and definitely in three hours, we are not able to take all the things. But I hope that you are able to understand a lot of things about the SQL. Okay. And guys, I, I will share some of the resources, some of the uh, like uh, resources to you if you really want to study. Okay. So, guys, this is one uh, like uh, uh, this is one website from where you can actually practice all the queries. Okay. Whatever the queries I have told you, you can practice all these queries from here. Okay. So, I'm putting this uh, like uh, sources into the chat box. Please. Uh, take this resources from here 
and then this is one resource guys okay so i'm actually uh, i'm actually sharing different resources for different things okay so this resource is actually help to you to understand all the queries okay so like uh, what is the meaning of where clause what is the meaning of equal what is the meaning of and what is the meaning of or so if you want to practice it one by one so this is where you can practice all the queries guys okay so whatever the function i have told you whatever the command i have told you whatever the statement i have told you you can actually practice all the commands statements function from this particular uh, website okay this is one of the best website which i am sharing with you the second website guys where you can do some practice okay so like uh, the table is given and then uh, along with the table the task is given okay so a very simple task and as as uh, you just try to uh, like uh, move ahead okay so it will give you the another task okay so it will just uh, the first it will give you the basic task then intermediate level task and then the advanced task okay so this is again very good website from where you can actually uh, uh, like understand uh, like you can try to uh, uh, like uh, do all the practices about the different tasks and different uh, uh, like a uh, queries and then one last uh, uh, website guys which i am sharing with you so this is one website from where you can actually uh, uh, like uh, understand that how we can utilize sql for any real life case study okay to solve any real life case study so these are the three different website guys i am sharing with you and you can utilize it for three different purposes okay and trust me guys if you are able to uh, actually utilize all these three websites you don't need to go anywhere else okay these three websites are more than enough to uh, if you if you really want to make you better in a field of sql okay so that's it guys for today's session thanks a lot i hope you guys have enjoyed this boot camp and you guys have learned a lot from this boot camp guys and definitely guys don't forget to mark your attendance and again guys just uh, kind of re uh, reminder for you that uh, the postman api fundamental is going to start from 17th of july it's a live session and it's a free of cost okay so don't miss the chance guys uh, it will actually give you a very good idea about uh, the postman api fundamental uh, you are able to know that what is the meaning of postman api fundamental and uh, like uh, it, it actually uh, help you uh, to make your portfolio very strong okay and you'll get the certificate okay so that's a that's a very good news guys and the second thing guys uh, you can act uh, like i think uh, there's a there's a program guys java plus dsa and uh, this course is actually uh, like uh, it's uh, like this is a three months course guys and it's uh, like uh, and in it's in a very affordable price just 5900 okay and uh, definitely it's uh, it the, the main advantage of this particular program guys it will actually give you uh, uh, like uh, 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 like you'll, you'll get placed uh, if you are if if you if if you are able to uh, learn if you are able to learn this uh, inside this course for 3 months okay so it it will actually help you to get placed or uh, uh, get hired into a respective job okay so these are the two programs guys which uh, uh, you which you will definitely you should definitely join and uh, you can um, yeah it will uh, easier for you than for for your placement okay and one more thing guys uh, like uh, uh, we are launching the btech csc program uh, uh, collaboration in collaboration with itm skill university so yeah if uh, like definitely it, it is is it way different from our traditional engineering uh, programs okay so uh, yeah guys if you if you, if, you, if you want to start your engineering if you want to do the btech and so it's it's, a, it's it's the best place okay and there are so many interesting thing about the, about this btech program uh, the uh, the one of the best thing about this program guys it will give you 100% uh, placement guarantee with minimum 8 lpa okay so this is really amazing guys so that's it guys from uh, this boot camp that's all Thanks a lot. Hope you have enjoyed this uh, like a, a session and all. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.
Hey, hi everyone. So my name is Sai Kiran and I'm the founder and CEO of Let's Upgrade and I'm having some amazing news for every one of you. Let's Upgrade in collaboration with IT and Skills University is launching the first BTEC CSC program that we love to share with you all guys. Six features. Number one, 100% job guarantee to all the students joining this particular program with minimum eight LPA. Number two, one year paid internship in product slash MNC companies. Number three, taught by real developers working in the industry in top companies. Number four, amazing campus, a campus which is like we work in Mumbai that we are building for you all guys. Number five, build lots of projects which are like real world applications, highly scalable applications from Hotstar to Zoom to your own Zomato. Number six, you are gonna love the community collaborations that we guys have done. We are collaborated with 13 plus tech communities to give you the same environment what IITs and NITs have. Meet lots of industry people, participate in hackathons and meetups to understand what is running in the industry. That's what these are the six features which we have. You can check out the program on our website that is isu.ac.in. Check out BTEC there, you will find it. That's it guys, bye-bye.